All right, so I said we're gonna do a video on it. I recently picked this up and we're gonna start restoring it. Uh, it is gonna take me a little bit of time. Obviously, it's not all gonna be done in, in like one short span, so this will probably be done over the next couple weeks. So first thing I'm gonna do is get it cleaned up, right? So I'm gonna get everything pulled off of it, every all of the covers and whatnot. I got my 3.8 socket. Looks like that's the size, so get everything pulled off. We're gonna get everything wiped down. I'm gonna get the front face all wiped off and everything, and we're gonna go from there. And then we're gonna see internals, what we need. Probably check out the fuel filter, make sure all the leads and wiring is good for the battery. Um, this, yes, it should be positive, and then there should be a ground on the other side. I believe that'll go in there, but we're gonna slowly figure that out. I have wanted to get one of these things for the longest time. Um, and like I said in a previous video, I was looking at the SA200s and well, this just happened to come up. Works, everything worked before it you know, got smashed up there. So it's just a spark plug issue. But like I said, we're gonna get it pulled apart. I'm gonna try to learn as much as I can about these things. And then we're gonna start our journey of learning how to stick weld. Cause I used to do MIG a lot. I would do a lot of structural stuff with MIG, but now this is a whole nother world and I wanna try and see what I can figure out. I swear every time I sweep, more and more shit blows in. All right, let's see what we're working with. I need two hands for this. All right, I got it up and over. Now, move that over. Move that. I'm gonna get that straightened up. All right, so things and stuff that I don't understand. Pretty much all I'm gonna do to this stuff, because like I said, it, it works. So we're not messing with any of this stuff over here. We're basically just gonna get the engine running correctly, and then all of this stuff should work if we ever have any issues. I will take it to someone to service, but I would like to learn the proper way on how these things work. Gotta get the bottom three bolts out. Look how nice that is. We probably will work with the patina. I gotta figure out what year this is. If someone knows how I can find out, let me know. I don't think that knob's supposed to come the whole way out like that. I can see some things I don't like right there, like those little pins. I don't like how much slop that has. Like this one's tight, which actually I guess that's gonna be tight, but I don't like the slop that has either, you know? So things like that we'll take care of. I'm gonna get this face cleaned up too and then pull that dent out. All right, gotta strip down a little bit more. I'm probably gonna take these to the car wash. Yeah, can clean all that up a lot better. We're gonna get in here and do a lot of vacuuming and shit. And this was all bent, so I'm gonna put a piece here and just smack it down flat. Show you guys what it looks like after we vacuum it. Probably get those leads off of there too. Find a decent set of leads. Probably 50 feet will do, cause like if I'm over there, I could probably, I'd like to say 50 feet would be fine. Um, I'm gonna try to find a new muffler or if I can't find one, we do have this pipe here that we can fabricate. You know, give it a little bit of an exhaust, something. We will see. I just want it to look nice. I want to. I want to take pride in this thing, and uh, you guys will see all that. So we'll get everything taken care of. Maybe spray all that with PB Blaster. Get all that cleaned off. Um, some pressurized air. I'm gonna go grab the vacuum quick. The satisfaction. Look at all that. There's a lot in there. All right, going through all the bullshit now. I saw this wire, you know, for the positive, and then we got the negative. So, I threw some loom on it, make it look nicer, you know? I'm gonna get some opinions on, you know, spraying this thing with a pressure washer and seeing if that's something that I'm okay with doing. Uh, I also got, this was like chilling in here and it was so bent back that you couldn't get it out. So I bent it. So, probably get the battery mounted eventually, but I'm gonna say earlier, this is going on the back of Bertha. We're gonna put some wood platforms on top of the fuel tank. Throw it on top. So we pulled the plugs just to see what they were. Um, I'm assuming I can get all these parts at like any local welding shop or any like welding store. So that's what I'm thinking. I just wanted to check 
see what they were. Um, I'm gonna put them back in just so that, uh, right there. Put them back in so nothing gets in the cylinder. And then we know that one goes there. So we'll be able to separate that. Um, probably gonna get an oil filter too before it. That looks terrible. I'm not gonna fire it up like that. Um, they were probably using it like that, but not my problem. I don't wanna do that. Ah, check daily. All right, so here's, here's all our specs. The filter has seen better days. I just gotta figure out the dipstick situation. Do not remove when running. Oh, okay. So dipstick, yeah, there is. Oil looks pretty good. I am gonna replace the oil, but she's gonna get oil change, fuel filter, air filter, spark plugs, wires, figure out something with this muffler. I just don't like that. And we'll get everything vacuumed out, take all that, get that cleaned out, and then we'll see um, if I can just spray like most of that stuff with PB Blaster, but We'll see, then we start fucking with it. All right, so we got this all thrown back together, cleaned it up a little bit. Um, so we're gonna put on our to-do list. One, that bolt needs drilled and tapped. That bothers me, I don't like that. Um, I'm trying to make this thing decent for what it is. Uh, we'll have to figure something out with the exhaust. There's supposed to be a bolt in there, and it looks like there's one there. So that one's missing. Looks like there was supposed to be a tab at one point and then these three were missing. So I gotta get those. I got the ones in the sides so the face plate's all secure. So we're gonna try to find some bolts to kind of put this thing together 100%. But in the meantime, I think this is gonna end up going in Bertha on the passenger side. I wanted it on the driver's side, but everything literally faces out so we have to put it on the passenger side. So like the fuel, the exhaust, um, the oil filter, fuel filter, like all this stuff. So this will basically go up against on there. And like I said, we're gonna put wood down. So I gotta get those made up uh, so we can set this on the aux tank. We got our oxygen acetylene set up over here. Again, I think all of this is pretty much gonna go in well, this might stay in the shop, but I think at the bare minimal, we'll make a setup for it to go in the truck. Because when we're doing stuff out on the road with the trailers and shit, we'll see. It's all, all stuff I've wanted to do for a long time, and I'm getting excited, but getting a little ahead of myself. So slow and steady. we got our leads. Got to figure those out. Um, we have one extension. I'm waiting on the other one to show up. These things are heavy and expensive. So we're going to get this picked up. Probably see if I can't get Bertha backed in to try to like get some mock-ups on it. And we also gotta go to scrap. We gotta, we gotta get this whole mess cleaned up over here. So we'll take care of that, another video. So this was never gonna happen, but like that welder coming into my life after like I've wanted one for so long, this is gonna happen. So we got 44 and a half by 17 on the welder. And we got measurement, I think this, uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but basically the welder is smaller than this surface here. So that's perfect. So like I said, though, we're not putting the welder directly down on the tank without it being blocked with wood. So we're going to try to support it. Basically, we're trying to make it because I, I, I know next year we are going to do some mobile repairs and shit, but we're done for the winter. But basically this truck is just going to be like servicing especially with our tow trucks and shit. So like if everything's out there and I have an employee in here doing the truck stuff, if I ever need to go out on a call, um, we have the gooseneck hitch. I, I do plan on getting a fifth wheel, but I don't know if it's gonna fit now with the welder. So I might just put that on hold. We might just have Josh's truck for the fifth wheels. Not sure yet, but just gonna be a damn good service rig. I'd like to be able to have power out on the field. So we'd be able to use power tools. We'd be able to charge things. Um, we can weld things, we can cut things with the oxyacetylene. That's basically my plan with this. So this not only is a welder, but it's also a generator. So that really helps us out as well. And it's a cheap generator, mind you. So let's get Bertha backed in here. We'll grab the engine crane and start stuffing this thing up in and start doing some mock-ups. 
thing. God, I love doing shit on impulse. Like this thing, man, where was this like five years ago when I really wanted one and had a huge use for it? I'm like a kid in a candy store right here. Like I'm just, just having a good time. We'll see if this investment was worth it. I even loomed the, uh, the battery cables and shit. I didn't show you guys that, but I loomed all that, made it look nice because I didn't want half-assery crane in the air now I'm gonna be able to get it in the bed but now I gotta manhandle it up there and like build the platform and shit um we'll see how we plan on doing it I also like to straighten this up at some point so I think while we're at it too we're gonna have to put these in because I don't want a squatted truck so we're gonna have to cut that bracket off because remember this truck is reverse leveled so you cut that bracket off and there's two holes in the frame already. You just have to tap them for whatever bolt you're gonna use. So I have a couple taps over there. We'll figure out which one I wanna use. And we'll go from there, somewhere in one of these little spots. In a perfect world, we'd have like a thing coming from the Raptors to be able to pick shit up. But this is what I got. What in the clusterfuck am I doing today? So what we're gonna do, get this picked up now this, when I can get it close enough, will help me in lifting it back up so we can put wood blocks underneath of it and make like a little base platform because this can only handle so much and I'd like to put it on the edges. Well, I mean, it worked. I got it where I needed to. I could actually close this tailgate if I needed to, but that would work. That's tighten. I don't know. Yeah, so it's gonna sit just like that. So I'm gonna go grab some wood blocks for support. It does fit. And we've got the wood blocks down. So I'm gonna pull this this way a little bit. Looks like we got some room. It is shoved that way a little bit, so that's all I need to do. Yeah, probably an inch bring it that way. So this will make it easier to service. Here's the oil filter, spark plugs. You can still get to the other one back there. Oil, exhaust faces out this way. As much as I hate that it's facing that way, it is what it is. Um, right now we just have it temporarily strapped. I'm gonna try to see what I can do to get it actually hard mounted. I might make some sort of a base that like elevates it over that, but we'll see. We need a welder for that. All right, so we're gonna get these things cut out. Keep in mind, I've already went through and serviced everything in here. The uh, rear axle seals were leaking on both sides. I do have a video on that, but you guys can see that little nut. Now, if you guys look in there, you see how there's a hole right there? These frames are meant for four wheel and two wheel. And on the four wheel drives, you get these guys right here, which brings it down because they're a higher truck. Well, uh, when you reverse level it, like I did, you can see how all three of the blocks are on the top instead of the bottom. Drops the rear end down, what do you call that? Like an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches on the suspension. But when you do that, this and these will not be the same. Well, as long as I get rid of that spacer up there, I can keep this setup all the same. If not, I could get rid of this, but even still, then it wouldn't be enough because that's like a two and a half inch drop. So we'll do that. We'll get the bolts tapped and I'm gonna get that cut off real quick. All right, we got the first one off, which I did get the whole other side. I had to pry it back and forth. And then this side, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that, but it definitely was a bitch. It will peel some of the frame with it because of the weld so we'll just fill that in with weld later but this can go in the scrap bin i did find four bolts that are the same thread pitch as what the old ones were so now i just need to go and get a tap for that so that we can bolt these up in all right there's the first one in i'm gonna ignore this little flappy thing might pound it back in but I like to get rid of them, but not really a big deal. Other side, I'm just gonna cut it twice because that taking that whole thing off is takes forever. All right, we got her in. 
There you can see that piece of the frame. So you can rip them off. If you do end up ripping them off, you'll do that. Which isn't a big deal. You can just throw like a bead of weld in there. It's, it's just the second layer of frame, that little thin layer. But she's all installed, all good to go. Um, on the last setup, it touched the frame all the time. Right now, it does not do that. Uh, there is a little bit, so I mean, it's gonna be a little bumpy, but whatever. All right, now that we got everything uh, installed the way I need it, we're gonna go, first I gotta flip that, well, I'm just gonna leave the gooseneck ball the way it is because we're gonna be using it. There we go. So, I gotta get all four of these for tomorrow. And then I'm gonna grab all this scrap and we're gonna throw all that in the back as well. So sometime tomorrow, probably around noon, we're gonna be taking all that stuff to scrap and then going and getting these mounted balanced. And at the very least, if he doesn't bring in the spacers, I'm just gonna throw them on as is and show him the differences just to kind of get them out of the way. But still waiting on the go ahead for some of this stuff. Once the fenders are on, blah, blah, blah. We'll, yeah, track bar bullshit. So let me get all this stuff moved over. All right, Bertha is all loaded up, ready for tomorrow. Timrins are putting in their work. We're done for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to pretty much do it. But see, this will give you all the access. Gives you a lot more access with everything uh, right there. But let me know what you guys think about a platform. What you guys think I should do. Um, obviously, the wood kind of makes it a lot easier to uh, manage. But let me know. We're going to try to keep the weight down. But... Appreciate you guys for sticking around. CPSteveMiller.com. Feel free to send me shit. We are out here in Carlisle right off of exit 49. See you guys later.